The optimism is up over where it was 12 months ago, and I think that's important to recognise. But also business leaders are extremely pragmatic and realistic about some of the challenges. Uh, and when you look at the critical challenges, it's about how is Europe going to find growth, both within Europe and take advantage of the global economy? How does it address some of the supply side issues, particularly around the skills mismatch? And I think also looking at the infrastructure challenges that Europe faces. Europe keeps on being the largest export uh, economic entity of the world. It is the unique, uh, the only entity that has not lost market segment share compared to other big entities in the world. China obviously is growing, Brazil is also growing, but from a much smaller base. I think the European products, innovation, quality have a great brand around the world. There are now a lot of new opportunities coming up. By 2050, we have only 4% of the world population. So how do we position ourselves and will, be, will we be to a certain extent leading in that more multi-polar world or will we not count anymore and be, as we say in French, quantité négligeable in the future. But the most important thing for governments to do, I think, is to encourage a competitive environment for uh, manufacturing business. And once people see that this is a growth area, then it's much easier to attract young people into those businesses. So what I want to see for Orgelim's members is a really competitive uh, environment. And one of the worries I have is that now we're doing a little bit better. Uh, legislators and governments will either think that they can ignore us once again or that we're not terribly important and that would be a real shame. The issue in Europe is not so much that we're lacking skills but we've got a skills imbalance. So what that means is that we need to make uh, the older people stay in lo work longer which means that we need to give them the right skills to be able to do that and we need to tell younger people what are the likely jobs that they're going to get and help them and encourage them to pick up skills earlier. And I think at the moment we have got a skills imbalance and we need to address that. Europe uh, keeps on being the largest export uh, economic entity of the world. It is the unique, uh, the only entity that has not lost market segment share compared to other big entities in the world. China obviously is growing, Brazil is also growing, but from a much smaller base. I think the European products, innovation, quality have a great brand around the world. There are now a lot of new opportunities coming up. There's very good opportunities for Europe at the moment. Uh, most of Orgelim's members are getting their significant growth of about 10% last year uh, from export markets and one of the things I want to see Europe understand is that that's got to be kept going. This is the engine of our growth. It's likely to be significantly more than the internal market for quite a while to come and that is why it's so essential that we maintain uh, competitive infrastructure for uh, the companies with Orgelin Org represents and indeed many other sectors. If you look at um, the size of the European market, we're 27% of world GDP. That's a very very significant part of the global uh, economic activity. We're also uh, the world's largest uh, exporter of goods, the world's largest exporter of services, and we've got some very talented people. We often forget that when we look at some of the critical problems that Europe's facing. Europe is the most advanced uh, um, economical entity in the world in terms of efficiency of producing and distributing energy. It's very important that the EU, that the member states keep on investing in the production and distribution of energy, that we keep on being more efficient than than uh, other, other countries in the world, other regions of the world. More ICT there is going to uh, make it even more uh, performant, more efficient, and with sustainable growth. We, uh, we have uh, an absolute focus on a smarter performance, meaning bringing more performance to the users, 